It's 1226 on this Friday afternoon and we're taking a live look courtesy of Sky 5 on the island and you can see the rain out there. Definitely those gusty winds moving the camera back and forth a bit and uh, there's been a consistent amount of rain out there, but it's it's been off and on in terms of how heavy it's been. Let's take a look here uh, back on the map. Satellite and radar composite shows Harvey continuing to make its way away from the valley, but the bands of rain kind of drifting down here and impacting mainly uh, Cameron and Willacy County for the most part. But the cloud cover has definitely been widespread all across the valley there. You may have seen maybe a little bit of a bright moment, but really no sunshine and not much rain for the upper valley as we and we're not even looking looking at a whole bunch of rain uh, from here. Let's take a look at the actual rainfall that's falling right now and you see those bands kind of drifting along the coast and right now it's relatively light out there. So nothing too heavy falling right now. As the day goes on, we can still get a few pockets of heavier rain near the coast, but inland areas, it's really not looking as favorable for you. We still look at the Doppler estimated rainfall totals, and uh, over the past 12 hours or so, we've seen about maybe close to an inch or so, maybe a little bit more than that closer to the coast. Inland areas, notice it tapers off, and really no significant rainfall for McAllen in areas west of the I-69 C corridor. We still have the elevated surf, though. That's really making an, a coastal impact. So the water is going to continue to rush into uh, the dunes this afternoon with gradual clearing expected later on today. But you can see the wave heights here in that turquoise color indicating just around the five or a little bit over the five foot mark there and uh, definitely washing up into the dunes. And it'll continue to do that until later on this afternoon. And then it'll wash out and basically we're going to see gradual improvement, which is good news here in the valley. So taking a look here at the current watches and warnings, we have Willis and Cameron County still under a tropical storm warning at this point in time until further notice. You zoom out and even more and you see uh, Kennedy County under the hurricane warning zooming out even more. It goes all the way up through Corpus into the coastal bend outside that Houston is under a tropical storm uh, warning right now and you can see a lot of that blue for the flooding concerns that are in that area. So let's go over to meteorologist Alan Shoemaker, who has more on that rain that is getting ready to slam the coastal bend. Alan. Yeah, we'll talk about Harvey and what it's doing to other parts of Texas. So let's get to it. I have a couple of headlines for you. We'll show you kind of some things to look out for, especially if you're going north. This is more for if you're trying to make plans to go out of the valley north this weekend. You may want to avoid it because flooding rain is possible north of the RGV. We're talking about especially areas up closer to San Antonio and to the east near Victoria. Heavy rain is possible there through the weekend, maybe even beyond. So definitely check the weather before you go. Check the KRGV mobile weather app. But we'll give you the latest on Harvey. And there you see the latest on Harvey. Winds of 110 miles per hour moving northwest at 10 miles per hour. Again, it will make landfall late tonight north of Corpus Christi and then become a big rainmaker. But still some very strong winds through tomorrow morning. Could be over 100 miles per hour. But then watch how the storm just sits there through Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. and barely moves until maybe Monday or Tuesday. It could get kicked out of Texas. So what it means for rainfall though, check these totals out and now this you know, won't be specifically what happens, but it gives you an idea. If you look at rainfall totals just through tomorrow afternoon, you see the model does show some areas like you see around Victoria places there showing about 17 inches of rain or more. And again, it may not be specifically there, but places could have that much in spots. In fact, look at some of the heavier rainfall totals combined through the weekend. You see some of these spots 18 to 30 inches or more it shows 33 inches in College Station. So again, that's maybe not specifically what would fall in College Station, but it's possible that somewhere in that area that's kind of yellow and yellowish orange could have about two to three feet of rain this weekend. So if you're traveling anywhere north, those areas east of San Antonio, especially from near Victoria to the north and west of Houston, near and west of Houston, there could be some big time rains that could cause catastrophic flooding. So watch out for that to the north. So again, that's what we're looking at with Harvey. As it moves away from us, it could be taking a surge of some very heavy rain up around the coastal bend and towards parts of the hill country and College Station. So big rainmaker for the weekend. Samara? Yeah, meanwhile, for us, it's a, it's good news that it's moving up to the north. I mean, I know it's going to cause bad flooding up there, but, you know, for us back here at home, what it's going to show um, when the future track model is gradual improvement from here. And, you know, it stayed offshore just enough to kind of, we got the edges of those bands, but really uh, the heavier stuff kind of stayed offshore as it passed by. And it'll continue to kind of clear out from here. This is 4 o'clock. I'm not going to rule out maybe a few more showers or thunderstorms that could produce some heavy rain near the coastal areas. But looking at in the overnight hours, it looks like it's going to be relatively 
relatively quiet out there and really not too much going on Saturday morning either. Maybe a decent amount of cloud cover, that's for sure, but you could get maybe a few breaks in those clouds by tomorrow afternoon to allow for some sunshine. Maybe a passing shower, but for the most part, we are going to see that improving pattern. We've gone back, we've cut back on those rain chances considerably as we head into the weekend. So let me show you how it impacts your seven day forecast. For today, we'll say in the upper 80s, and for tomorrow, it looks like like with the breaks in the clouds, we could get up to about 90, maybe a few degrees above 90, but in the areas where it stays cloudy, you would definitely stay in the 80s tomorrow. 93, still rather cloudy for Sunday, but breaks in the clouds, and we will see some sunshine, and it'll help warm things up as we head into next week. 92 to 95 by midweek, and again, more sunshine by Thursday will heat us up to about 97. Your overnight lows will stay in the upper 70s. And that's your updated first one five forecast. Stay with us. Channel 5 News at noon. We'll be right back.